Marcus Hayes, Fight Up TV, powered by Stage Front VIP with the Vargas Dynasty, the other half of the Vargas Dynasty. I just ran into the other two. Big Fernando Emiliano. What's happening, man? We're getting ready to fight again. What's yeah, going man, on? March 29th is gonna it's gonna go up again. Uh, nine and is what we're shooting for. Um, you know, so we're picking up the rounds, picking up the you know uh, uh, just every day, man. Um, putting myself in line to fight for a war title in 2025. How excited are you to be back in the ring? First fight, 2024. What have you guys been working? on recently um you know just sharpening up on everything the the head movement the footwork um you know every fighter begin hit less and less so i think that's a beautiful thing um you know as a fighter you know you shouldn't be on the decline every time you fight but on the incline so i definitely believe that every time i step in there you're gonna see a new side of me a different you know sharpening up here sharpening up there so um that's what it really i believe Big fight, big weekend in Las Vegas, big week in Las Vegas, Super Bowl week. Tiafimo Lopez, Jermaine Ortiz. Uh, first, I have you, senior, break the fight down. What do you think about what we're going to be seeing on Thursday night? Well, we're going to be looking amazing. I mean, um, you know, he does everything I tell him to do. He never has a problem. I always, if, I, if I want him to do certain things, he does them. And hey, I'm just super excited for him. So let's go. Okay. What about Tiafimo Lopez and Jermaine Ortiz on Thursday? Uh, have you thought about the fight much? Uh, and who do you see winning the fight? Well, you know, man, Theo is a, is a beast. Theo's a beast. I don't know too much about the, the other fighter. Um, but I just know that um, Theo's a beast. And so I think that I'm going to need for, for, for Theo on that one. Jermaine Ortiz, young, hungry fighter. We saw him in with Vasil Lomachenko, kind of fell short. Uh, looked like he might have been winning the fight. A controversial loss, actually. Um, what do you think Jermaine Ortiz has to do to not be overcome by the moment of Tiafimo Lopez here at Mikelo Barino? Um, I mean, uh, every time he steps in there, I think it's... Uh it's a it's a new stripe on his you know on his on his chest and I think uh, you know those battle scars definitely you know pay dividend but I believe that uh, I think I think Tio guys this one man I think he just he just uh, he's just better overall fighter I think uh, just the way he's been looking especially after Tio's last fight I think uh, you know he's gonna pull out the victory but you know Jermaine Ortiz is nothing to play about man he's a uh, he's a he's a strong young hungry fighter and, you know he gave the city Lomachenko some good work, so um, you know I think I think it's gonna be great fight, man. But uh, I got Tio uh, edging it. We got Keyshawn Davis and Hor uh, and Jose Pedraza as the co-main event on uh, this week's fight. What do you guys think about Keyshawn Davis and his fight style? I think it should be a good one, man. I think it should be a good one. So uh, I think I think Keyshawn will get the job done. Um, uh, but you know that's the thing about boxing. We never know. So I'm excited to see. I think it'll be, it's going to be a great fight. So I'm just, I'm just, we're just going to watch it. That's how we're going to do it. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. Super Bowl here in Las Vegas, man. I know you guys are out here. Uh, what do you think about all the extra foot traffic? Traffic. It said 300k plus wow. people gonna be out here. Hey, to us, you know, and, and the only time, the only time that there's a problem for us is if there's a fight, and then you know there's just a little bit more traffic than usual. Well, we're cool with it. I'm cool with it. Yeah. 100%. I agree. I want to touch on March 30th, uh, the main event of the fight that we just talked about. Um, Pitbull Cruz, uh, that's the co-main, but Pitbull Cruz and uh, and Rolly Romero. What do you think about Pitbull versus Rolly Romero? Man, Pitbull is a beast. I don't know. He's a beast. A lot of people have been saying that Pitbull's going to get knocked out. A lot of the boxing minds... Uh, have been saying that he has no chance. I talked to Leonard Ellaby. Oh, Leonard Ellaby says that uh, Roley's going to crack. They both hit hard. Yeah, somebody's going to knock out. But, you know. How does Roley keep Pitbull off of him? That, that's what we're going to have to see and find out. Because guess what? That Mexican keeps on going forward. You know what I mean? He, he, they call him Pitbull for a reason. He's going hard. He's going in. He's not going to take one foot step back. And he's going to keep on going. So you guys, you, you got to be ready. What do you think about Tim Zhu versus Keith Thurman? Tim Zhu uh, opens up as an eight to one favorite versus Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman, an underdog in his comeback fight. You know, hey, um, Keith Thurman can box. Keith Thurman can box, but I, and, I, and I haven't seen too much about uh, Zhu to tell you, but I know Zhu is like his daddy. He has power, you know what I mean? So, um, and then at the end of the day, I think it's going to be a great fight. Okay, guys, Super Bowl pick, who wins?
I don't, I don't watch that stuff. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even, I don't even know who's, 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 who's yeah, you're yeah, San Francisco. I know for that. Did I just turn off some football fans? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. Y'all don't watch football. Nah, I nah. don't, man. I watch football. Right, if you don't bleed, I don't watch it. <laughs> I watch football. I watch football. <laughs> All right, well, there you have it, folks. Appreciate it. Vargas Dynasty, the other <laughs> half, man. Appreciate you guys. We'll be seeing you guys during Fight Week, bro. Thank you, Take care. Yeah.